Ubuntu and Arch Linux serve distinct user needs. Ubuntu emphasizes ease of use, stability, and out-of-the-box functionality, whereas Arch Linux prioritizes user control, minimalism, and a rolling release of the latest software. Ubuntu follows a fixed release cadence with long-term support, which is LTS options, making it ideal for environments where predictability and extended maintenance windows are important. In contrast, Arch Linux adapts a rolling release model, continuously delivering updates, so users always have the newest kernel and packages without waiting for major version upgrades. Now let's first start with the philosophy and release model. Ubuntu is designed around stability and user friendliness, releasing a new version every six months and offering five-year LTS releases for enterprises and less experienced users. Arch Linux Guided by the Keep It Simple Stupid, which is KISS principle, gives power users a clean slate to build and configure their systems exactly as they wish, with no pre-installed software beyond the essentials. Now, installation process. Ubuntu features a graphical GUI-based installer, Ubiquiti or Calamaras, that walks users through disk setup, user creation, and software selection in few clicks. Arch Linux uses a command line installation, requiring manual partitioning, networking, package selection, and bootloader configuration. Ideal for those who want intimate knowledge of every component. Now, let's talk about the package management. Ubuntu leverages APT for .deb packages with integrated support for Snap and Flatpak for sandboxed cross-distro apps. Its curated repositories and PPS makes it easy to find and install popular software. Arch Linux relies on Pacman for fast, conflict-aware package operations and the Arch user repository, which is AUR, a community-driven repository offering thousands of user-contributed packages. Now, customization and performance. Arch minimal base install means only required components are running yielding lower RAM and CPU usage, ideal for older hardware or performance-sensitive workflows. Ubuntu's default GNOME desktop, background services, and Snap-based apps consume more resources, though this trade-off provides a full-featured environment without extra setup. Now, community and support. Ubuntu, backed by Canonical, it offers professional security updates, enterprises support options, and a vast ecosystem of forums. Ask Ubuntu and documentation. Its large user base ensures quick answers to common issues. Arch Linux Boosts the Arch Wiki, one of the most comprehensive Linux resources, and an active forum. However, it expects users to research and troubleshoot on their own hosting deep learning but with less hand-holding. So, who should use which one? Choose Arch Linux if you are a power user or a developer who wants a lightweight, highly customizable system. If you prefer manual installation and rolling updates to stay on the cutting edge. If you are comfortable with the command line and self-directed troubleshooting. Choose Ubuntu if you are a new to Linux or need a stable, pre-configured environment that just works. If you value GUI tools for installation and software management. If you require long-term support releases and corporate grade updates. Now finally, the conclusion. Ultimately, the choice between Ubuntu and Arch Linux hinges on your priorities. Ubuntu delivers a polished, beginner-friendly experience with robust support, while Arch Linux empowers experienced users with total control and up-to-date software. By understanding this core difference, you can select the distribution 
that best aligns with your workflow, hardware and technical comfort level. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.